Welcome everyone. Today we are going to be covering a Canvas topic as usual. However, you will notice the video is a little bit different as I'm experimenting with our new One Button Studio. So this should be a fun toy to experiment with. Okay, if we look at Canvas, the first thing you are going to do if you want to create a group is you are going to navigate to the People tab, to the People tab right here. Once you are there, you have the option to create a group set. A group set is like the overarching organizational tool. So these would be things like lab groups or reading groups, and then you'll have specific individual groups within that group set. So I'm going to create a group set right here, and I will just give this a name, example group set. And I have multiple options right here. I can allow self sign up. This allows the students to put themselves into groups. If you forget that, you can always mouse over the question mark right there. You can also, then if you choose that option, you can require group members to be in the same section so they're in the same class period at the middle school and high school. Then you can decide how you would like to structure the group. Do you want to create three or four or five or ten groups right now that the students enroll themselves? And do you want to limit the members to a certain number of members? Say, oh, I only want four members per group. Then I can also decide if I want uh, to automatically assign the group leader as a first student or a random student. So that is allowing students to sign themselves up. Let's say you don't want students to sign themselves up. You want to create the groups on your own. You can split the groups, or you split the class, excuse me, into X number of groups right here. So I can split the entire class into four groups. And I can, or, not and, or I can split the class into groups with X number of students. So let's say that I want all groups to be exactly three, I could do that. And again, I, either one of these options, I have the ability to require group members to be in the same section. Or, you can choose to create the groups later, which is good for creating them on the fly. Notice with either of these two options, you do have the ability to assign a group leader. So let's just say I'm going to split the class into two groups right now. This is a very small demo class, and I'm going to require them to be in the same section. I'm going to hit save. Then I will receive the menu that my groups are being created. Now I can see that my groups have been created. I have an example, I have my test student, and I have, I believe, Stacy in the groups. So at this point I have two groups, each with only one student in them. Obviously you would have more in your classes. I can always get back to this menu by locating people right here. And then there's my example group set. Here are my groups. I can move students between groups if I would like. So if I want Stacy and Dave Lincoln to be in the same group, I can do that. I can also select the three dots and I can remove someone from a group. They will go back over here to unassigned students. I can then drag them into another group. I can also click the three dots, set that person as a leader, or click move to from here and move them to a different group uh, on the pop-out that appears. Every group that is created, you have the three dots, you have the ability so you can edit your group name. So let's say you have lab groups and you wanted to create like the Einstein group and the Curie group. You could do that very easily by selecting edit. Each group also has what's kind of called a mini canvas. It has a group homepage. This is a space where the students can collaborate. They can post their own announcements in here. Um, so you will want to edit this as an instructor, but this gives them a space to collaborate. To work your way back to the class, you can always go back to demo. Groups are incredibly useful for any sort of group project. They also allow you to create group assignments and group discussions, which we'll talk about later on this channel. I will give this little caveat. If you want students to assign themselves to a group, you have to turn on people in the course navigation. And to do that, you go to settings, and then you go to navigation, and you ensure that people is activated. So once I find people right here, I will turn people on, and that will show up in the upper portion of the course. Right there it is. And I select enable. It will show up here, and then I click save. That is only required if you are allowing self-enrollment in your groups. And with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up, and I hope that you find this video useful and that you can use groups with your Canvas courses. If you have any questions, please let me know.